What's up guys, Carnage here, and let's check out Brotherhood United on Xbox One. This game was developed by MewBlue and published by East Asia Soft. It released on October 14th, 2020 for a price of $8.99. Uh, there is currently a sale as of this recording, so it's available for $7.19 US, uh, or regional equivalent of course. Um, and uh, I'm playing on the Xbox version, but I believe it's on other platforms as well. And uh, it's a run-and-gun platformer. It's got your retro art style, as you can probably tell from the title screen already. And uh, I'm haven't, I haven't played it yet, but I'm going to hop into it right now. So um, first, check out the options. There's not much here. That's fine. Sound, music, all right. There's no sliders. Oh, there is a slider. It's hard to see. Music and sound effects and uh, vibration on or off. That's about it. Not too much in the way of options. But, um, you know, that's fine. It's a retro-style platformer run-and-gun game. I love those kind of games, so uh, let's go right into it. Um, oh, there is some other options here. Okay, so there is co-op. Um, I believe it is local only. Uh, Two-player, yeah, local only co-op, uh, according to the store page, uh, which I just saw. Um, but uh, that's fine. I didn't expect it to be online in this one. Um, it would be nice, though. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't mind it. But you can also edit your character. Um, not too much in the way of customization, but that's also not the point of this game either. So whatever. We're going to go with our... Not too much to choose from. We're going to go with blue. And uh, you can also go to the store. Can you buy more outfits or something? Oh, cool. You get little uh, helmets. <laughs> Let's go Xbox green with this thing. Whatever. Um... Can I even buy it? All right, probably you get score. That's your currency or something. I don't know. Uh, so we can't keep that right now. Um, that's fine. Uh, no, I want to be player one. Damn it. <laughs> okay, there we go. And here we go. New game. Uh, hey, bro. Before we meet with the rest of the Brotherhood, I want to see if you could still handle the streets like in the old times. Follow me. All right. All the D-pad and A jump, of course. Okay, so here's basically a little tutorial, it seems. Drop off the roof, press down A. Alright, pretty standard stuff so far. Now, I heard this one's going to be another easy thousand gamer score, so uh, Achievement Hunters will be happy about that as well. Um, the new bar of the Brotherhood has a very nice tactical training basement. Try it. Man, if only every bar had a tactical training basement. <laughs> Alright. We got our health bar at the top, I'm assuming. Shoot the targets. And you can apparently spam. And you get an achievement, I heard. Oh, look at that! They even got the Gears of War uh, wannabe um, minigame mechanic, or whatever you call it. What do they call that? Jeez, uh, my mind went... Um, Active reload, that's right. <laughs> Aim diagonally, left bumper and right bumper. Ooh, interesting. So you can look down or up and do it like that. Uh, I always love when there's, uh, you know me, I was probably hoping for a twin stick shooter, but that's fine. Not every game has to be a twin stick shooter. Um, okay, so there we go. You avoid being hit by rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. K4 karaoke. <laughs> Change weapon by pressing left trigger. Oh, okay, you don't have to hold it. You just have to... Okay, what's my other weapon then? Do I even have another weapon, or is it... What the hell? The sign was blocking my active... Thanks, sign. Hey, Alright, maybe if I actually just get away from there. Let me see if I can do the active reload or whatever. Yeah, so you press it again. Just like in Gears. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there we go. Finished the tutorial already, I think. Too short? Yeah, the tutorial was short, but that's fine. <laughs> Before we drink beer, I want to show you this mysterious green flask that I stole from Bell's office. This may be worth something. It was highly guarded. What the hell? <laughs> Alright. Oh, you can't go up and down? I was thinking you could, like a beat em up kind of, but just run and gun back and forth, left and right. Um, you know, very old school inspired art style, the graphics. You can't go up there, okay. So you can't interact with the background. 
the douche menace. I love it. Um, okay, is that... Oh, shit. That's someone I'm supposed to save. I think that's one of the hostages. Okay, good. I didn't kill him. I thought I was about to kill him by accident. Um, that doesn't look like... Oh, okay. That's a mine. Yeah, I thought so. I think they were, I saw there was an achievement. Yep, there is an achievement for uh, not uh, not getting hit by a mine. All right, there we go. So I wonder what the active reload or whatever you want to call it in this game uh, actually does if it makes it um, stronger. Oh my God, what the hell is this thing? I thought we got only human enemies. We got bugs as well. Hey, bro. Did I get you? Okay. Here we go. Wait, wait, I hope that wasn't a hostage. Okay, I don't know who's the hostage and who's not, so I hope that you can't kill hostages by accident, because that would not be good. Um, I think we gotta kill all the enemies at the level to get. Uh, oh, there's another achievement. Raging mode. Okay, so that's not good. Oh, cool. So there's like a melee as well when you get close. If you just hit him normally with a shot instead, but when you're close, you actually hit him, punch him. Oh, that's close. Can I jump across here? Oh, shit, there's a mine in the window! Jeez. That was almost, uh, that almost trapped me. So we have to go up that way. Okay, cool. There we go. Uh, I think we gotta jump across, I'm assuming. There's another mine. Oh, what the hell was that? That was like a different type of mine. Alright, so we gotta go travel back this way, though. We gotta roll. We gotta have that ability. Um, I don't want to miss any enemies, because there is a... Uh, I heard you gotta get all the enemies in the level to get a uh, triple star rating you need for one achievement. Uh, you also have to do it without dying, which I might not do because I'm getting careless here. Um, oh, I almost died there by the mine, but I did get a health back. That was a health item. Alright. He's going to blow up himself up there. I'm not complaining. Where's my other bros? I got to save him. Oh man, they did some, they did some work on me there. At the end of the level? Nope. Hopefully they give me another, uh, another one. Another health item. I keep forgetting that you can aim up. Well, there we go. Can I jump up there? Yeah, I can, but that doesn't get me anywhere. Oh, there's a big health pack here. Nice. Just what I needed. Uh, that's not a hostage. I lost count of how many I had. I think three. Up oh, four, I think, now. Yeah, I'm not used to aiming up and down with that. Like, I gotta... Gotta get the hang of that. See, like, there. Uh, you can also... You can't hold in... Apparently, you can't hold in the X button. You have to spam to shoot. Uh, rapid fire, but it's all good. Where's this last hostage at? I don't want to miss anyone, though. Like, can I jump up there? I hope I didn't miss it. Hate spray. Oh, there was a mine behind him. Uh, I don't even know if you can manually reload either. Um, did I get... No, I didn't get three stars. I must have missed an enemy or a hostage somewhere. Wait, a, it says in the background, a call of duty. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. Got another achievement. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. If I don't get the 3 star on that level, I can always do it either later on that same level or I can do it 
on another level. So we'll try again. We may as well on this level. Uh, you don't have to get it on every level, which is cool. I mean, unless you want to, you can. Um, or replay value if you want to do that. But uh, for the achievements, you only need to get three stars on one level, I believe. This level's probably going to be harder to put on. I'll try. Just for fun. I don't know how many, um, how many hostages are on this level. It's not bad. Nothing special, but it's catchy. I was expecting more of like with run and gun, you know, I was expecting more like metal and rock and type of stuff like that, but you know, it's fine. It's not bad. The art style in this game, I will say, might throw some people off. Like, I don't mind it. I like retro style inspired games, you know, stuff that nostalgic that we grew up with, but uh, yeah, some people might. I think this art style is very, you know, very old school, so they, they might not realize what they're going for. It's purposely like this, you know, <laughs> pixelated, very pixelated. Um, some people might, it's, it's hard to say. Um, it's preference. I know there are some people out there that are like, oh, so many of these pixel art games, but I don't mind it. I like them. Uh, I also like getting hit by mines, apparently. Um, luckily I went to this guy up here so I can get hostage, and now I can get the health pack, and that will refill me full health. Um, there we go. Hopefully I didn't miss anything again. Let's see, can I switch weapon yet? Oh, I used a grenade. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, I already did the achievement for not getting hit with a grenade. So, or not using a grenade, sorry to beat a level. Okay, so that's detonate six mines without damage. Alright. Yeah, it's it's a basic run and gun, you know, little platformer. Nothing nothing amazing, nothing but it's not bad. It plays well. No complaints really with the uh, controls. You know the only thing is if it was right stick to aim I would have loved it. But like you know me, right stick shooter height. But uh, that's fine. You don't have to have that in every game. Um, yeah, decent little game. It's not too expensive, either, so that's always a good thing. Damn, they got so, so many grenades here. It's a grenade party in this point right here. I need a health pack really badly now. Uh, there's also a... Oh, okay, good. It's good you can't kill the hostages by accident. We do have an automatic gun, which you can hold in X, I just tested out, so that's good. Um, I'm wondering if I should save that and come back, ah, uh, okay, that guy's trying to hit me from here, um, here go. get that mine, it's almost like a guile shot that he does from, like, Street Fighter, jeez, um, you can't duck, either, you can't crouch, that would be a nice thing to do. Um, we got another hostage. I lost count again, but hopefully we get all the hostages and be able to get that three-star achievement. Um, do we have to go up that way? I want to try to get up here. You know, there's. I feel like if I go forward more, I might miss something. So yeah, I'm going to try to get up here. Aha! Aha! There we go. I knew that had to do something. Oh my god, imagine it blew up the hostage and it's like, nope, you failed. Um, no, there's no way up there, right? I don't think so. Um, oh, hello. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Literally. Oh, we got like a vertical level this time. They're changing it up a bit. Alright. Now, how do I make that jump? You not, you not, you don't have a double jump in this game, so, um, okay, you just gotta wing it. <laughs> so we gotta make sure we kill all the enemies as well. Did I kill them? I'm gonna go all the way back down and make sure I damn well kill them. Alright, there we go. Alright, 
Oh, another one. Another one's gonna try to make me go all the way down here. <laughs> Dude, they, they know that I'm uh, going for that. They're just like, nope, we're gonna have to travel all the way down there. Just for fun. Okay, we made it. Not even at the end of the level yet, though. Uh, leap of faith. Oh, crap. Okay, there's another hostage. I hope that's the last one. He gave me some ammo as well. Thank you, sir. Uh, another mine. Alright. Can we get up here? Nope. Now, I wonder if I went back to the left. See, that would have been an ideal spot for hiding a hostage back here. But they weren't that sneaky. At least not yet. Oh, shit! They are sneaky because they got a motherfucking tank! I wasn't prepared! <laughs> Okay, they got a boss fight. They got a boss fight. They changed it up on me. I'm, I'm ready now. Okay, so you can blow up that. That's good. Ow. Oh, crap. Oh, I don't want to roll into it. Okay, I got him. I didn't even have to use a mine. I was a uh, grenade. I was about to, but I did not. Oh, snap. I got three stars. I didn't think I did it. But, uh... Wow, three stars on the second level. That's interesting. Cool, so now I don't have to replay the first level. Because you only need one um, three star ranking, which is cool. So, raging mode. Hey, I haven't raged yet. Not really, except for that tank who threw me off guard in the beginning. But it's uh, good stuff. I, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised they added a boss fight. Really. Like, that just caught me off guard. Usually you fight a couple levels and then the boss, but they just threw it right in. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for the hostage menu. Oh my god, there's jetpack people now. They're all over the place, everything. There's satellites. There's new stuff. Cool. We gotta save our bro here. And he gave me some health, I think, that time. Here. <laughs> it's got a like, nice little personality. I like the, uh, the style, the art, you know, the characters and stuff. Pretty fun little game. You know, like I said, nothing uh, that's going to really be out of this world or amazing, but it's also not that expensive, so it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, and we got another type of boss, or mini boss, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the tank is only a mini boss, but we'll see. But, uh, we'll see. So even if, I, even if I die here, it doesn't matter now that I think we got checkpoint and stuff like that. Uh, we will find out if we have one. I ran out of ammo for my rifle, apparently. Yeah, I can't switch. Um, oh, grenade, and I died. So, yeah, we respawn right here, so that's not too bad. Um, can I switch? How do I switch weapon again? Uh, it's not that. It's not why. I forget. Anyway, <laughs> it's not that important. If I run out of my weapon ammo, I'll switch to the pistol again. And I am, yeah. I am. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go for every thing now that I got the. Uh, star rating, so I'm not going to go too out of my way if I miss something. Fine. You got to hit it when it's open, of course. Um, there we go. I should use my roll more often. Uh, you can't air roll. You can't dodge roll in the air. Okay. Also, uh, I don't know if you can manually roll. You can only, like, Wait till your ammo's out. But either way, it doesn't matter. Oh, I can't get up there again, can I? Oh wait, you can. You can just shoot him. Not that it kills him, it just saves him. I think. Does it not? Uh, now I want to save him. I'll try to get up there. Um, if I can. If not, no big deal. Alright, let's move on. Finally 
getting used to uh, aiming up these jetpack guys. Right bumper. There we go. Oh, what the hell is this? Minigun! Oh, shit. This guy's no joke. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, he spawned me. Right, they spawned me right here again. Damn it, they, they missed. I was just spamming grenades and I'm out again. Oh my god. Jeez. Ah, I got wrecked. I wasn't even... I was being careless. Oh wow, game over. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Holy hell, that's hilarious. That death animation. Fatality. I didn't expect that. I thought they were just gonna... I was being careless because I thought you can just keep spawning over and over. But apparently not. Um, you can continue. But it's probably gonna put me at the beginning of the level. Uh, that's all good, though. Um, yeah, that's about uh, the basics of the game. Uh, I'm not going to get too far into it. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what the game's about. Um, I'm sure there's more bosses and more, a little more variety, but it seems like a pretty cool game. Uh, easy achievements as well. Um, 350 enemy kills, 32 grenades, 12 grenades. What else do I need? Mines without taking damage. Look at that. I just need to save the hostages, and you can keep doing the same ones I heard. You don't even have to get that far. Uh, I might play a couple other levels uh, later on, but uh, for now, I think that's... Uh, you guys got the gist of the game and uh, what it's like. Not a bad game. It's kind of fun. It's a little run-and-gun game that, uh, you know, is enjoyable for a while. It's not going to be a lot of replay value, but you could also play local co-op, which is nice. I didn't expect that. Um, Online co-op would be even better, but it doesn't support it right now. That would be awesome if they did that, if they did add that. But uh, it's also a great game for achievement hunters, like I said. So uh, easy thousand and probably under an hour, like a lot of East Asia soft games. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and the game. Uh, check it out. It's available right now, like I said, for uh, $7.19 as of this recording. It's on sale um, and uh, normally $8.99 US. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thanks again, everyone. Uh, make sure you're subscribed so you know when uh, my next videos are uploaded. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you.